Hi and welcome to C Sharp. Uh, this very tutorial is uh, about uh, creating checklist box. Okay, just want to show you how it works. It's a very short tutorial. This is the one I created earlier, and uh, this is a follow-up here. Okay, here you can delete. Okay, once it's selected, you can delete an item. Okay, and you can also add an item. Let's say right there, you can add an item. The choice is yours, and that's how it works. Okay, and just populate it how you want. So, but what I would do now is to take you guys straight into C sharp, and I show you how you can put one of these together okay guys let's go into c sharp now so i'm going to close this and we start a new project entirely so we'll come in here start a new project okay the dialog box is ready select c sharp windows forms application give your project a name so i'm just going to call that c sharp underscore check list box click on OK now that your form is ready define the size of the form itself let's come to where it says size and define the size as follows that's 1000 by 1281 by 469 let's make that 500 that's cool and where it says uh, start position let's change that to center right there okay the component we actually need is called check list box this is it right there underneath check box right there double click on it and there we go. there you go that is it let's define the size of that to let's come to size okay the size let's go for about 500 plus and let's make this 350 there press enter that is the size I actually need two of these so I'm just gonna hold down the control cup uh, click and drag there that's the second one right there done okay now we need a list box text box and two buttons so let's come in here we need three buttons actually and and a text box there okay let's change the size of all of this component to approximately the font size to approximately maybe 14 so that it's a bit readable make that bold there that's cool I need three of these and one more here there Let's change this to multi line. Drag it that much. Alright, let's enter, add an, an item there. Right there. So, on this button, let's change that to add. button that will be just exit that's cool okay let's double click on the form load because we will want the form load to load up the following so let's go for in skill okay and right underneath let's use a for loop for let's say q equals one then let's go for Q less than let's go for about 150 
then Q plus plus okay that's our loop in there and right in here let's go for checkbox checkbox one dot one dot add item okay and that is the item we want so if we run the program this is what it will look like this is how it looks like remember I asked it to go for 150 but we just have it on one single line so for us to have it on both lines what we need to do is to come to the property right here come in here where it says multi column let's change that to true and I think we do the same thing for the second one as well okay that is it so if I run it again this is what you guys will see you see that all right so that's taken care of let's take care of this what we want to do for this is when we whatever item you add in here we want it in here okay or we can just double click and ask the add to add one or two more content into it then we just use the click to do that we use the click button button click to add more item into it so let's say checklist box 2 2 that should be right underneath here let's take that off it's not meant to be there that's going to be just form load let's place it in here to add an item we can just say god we can add maybe let's go for jesus why not let's go for love happiness okay so if you run it what you see is those appears there right away but we want to be able to add more so let's come in here double click on add so that means whatever is inside there is added here and what you are adding in this case is going to be the content inside the text box so text box one dot text that's it there Okay, so that's that. Now let's come in here. Let's double click on delete. So in the case of delete, we enter all of those, but it's going to be dot remove. Okay, then open a bracket and you enter the same the same thing. Let's go for checklist box to dot text. Okay, that means delete any of the text content right inside it that is that done so as you can see this is the method to delete and that is the method to add so if I run it okay we can add more content here let's say add an item so you click on that you can add an item Okay, I think we're going to need to expand that. All right, so, so let's come for maybe food. Work. Let's go for all of that. Okay. Now let's check out if our delete button works. Let's select maybe this very one there. Hit delete. Select hit again. You can see that. Yeah, we hate work. And we like holiday, so let's add more holiday there. You see that. So that's how you write that very simple program. Okay, so what I'll do now is uh, I just need to finish up this. That one is just going to be an exit anyway coming here. Let's enter application dot exit application dot exit and that's how you 
program a very simple program using a list box checklist box actually okay guys just before we go let me show you guys the simple codes again okay for the form load you use the following lines of codes this is for the first checklist box and here is for the second checklist box for the add the second checklist box delete the second checklist box and exit so run it one more time then we can add an item here So with that guys, I'm going to call it the end of this program. I suppose you all enjoyed. So you have a nice day now. Bye for now.